These are the good fit all-in-one denture trays. They are the main clinical component of the good fit expedited denture system. They come in three base sizes and on each base size there are different arrangements of teeth. There are actually six tooth arrangements all together. They're made of PMMA so they are totally stable and when they are placed in warm water they become moldable. As you can see they become completely moldable. They can be molded in the mouth or on a model. Once they are put in the position that they, the clinician desires they are chilled in cold tap water and once that is accomplished they become totally stable and they will not change unless they are reheated. So the first part of the clinical procedure is to heat the trays, put them in the water as I have shown, and make a custom tray. When they're warm you can trim them with a scissor or when they're cooled you can trim them with a burr. Once the trays have been customized you're dealing with a conventional final impression. You can border mold, any material of choice, and basically you're going to take two custom impressions. If you'll note there are also tissue stops put in there which can be used to keep an even thickness of material. Once the final impressions have been made, the normal technique would be to send the impressions to the laboratory to have them fabricate wax rims and bite blocks. These are gone forever with the good fit system because rather than send these to the laboratory, the dentist goes right back to the mouth and uses them in place of wax rims and bite blocks. First thing he does is evaluate the midline, the occlusal planes, if there's any changes desired, he can mark it on, on the actual tray for the laboratory. If he wants a shorter tooth, he can grind the teeth to make a shorter tooth. If he wants it longer, he can indicate to the laboratory to add two or three millimeters to the setup. Once he's done that, he now goes, stays in the mouth and does what we call a three-dimensional tooth selection. He works with the patient, shows the tooth forms. These are in Vita Shade. This is a Vita Shade A2. Uh, the patient gets to see a shade, gets to see the mold. If they want to change the mold, we give them the dimensions so that he can pick any mold, any tooth manufacturer. The tray is not generic to the tooth mold. He then has to do final last two steps, which would be vertical and centric. He it creates the proper freeway space. If he needs more freeway space, he grinds the occlusal surfaces. We recommend that you grind the lower because the uh, laboratory is going to use the upper as a setting guide. If he needs less freeway space, he just adds enough wax to establish the vertical dimension. They're excellent for using phonetics for speech to check the vertical, but any technique is acceptable. Once he's done that, the last step in the procedure is to take a centric relation this can be done, again, with any material of choice. This, this happens to be with Aluax, but he can use any material. He takes his bite. You can then remove them from the mouth. You can clean off any excess, and you can use these trays and impressions as a try-in. You have done everything. You've done your dimensions. You've done your records, so you can verify it with the patient. And if everything is acceptable, the, the lab can then go directly to finish. If there are any questions, then the laboratory can then send you back a wax try-in. And this is what goes to the laboratory. All in one clinical visit, all the information, all the uh, uh, final impressions have been done, and all, he has everything the laboratory needs to pour two models, uh, articulate them, and then work from this system 
and they can do any conventional type of denture that the laboratory wants to fabricate.